What's up, YouTube? It's Capan here, and I'm at the 4th Street Garage here on the 4th Street Garage channel. And uh, I got my 92 240 wagon here, and I got a little problem with a uh, startup, a restart when it's hot after you drive it for a while. And then uh, when you go to restart it, it'll uh, occasionally crank over too many times. Uh, not really, uh, never left me stranded or anything, but something I'd like to take care of. So we're going to check the fuel pressure, make sure this is uh, retaining fuel pressure. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to test the fuel pressure and the residual pressure on the fuel rail. Um, the way that the fuel injection in this car works is that you have two fuel lines coming from the tank. This top one is a high pressure line that comes uh, from the fuel pump. It pumps into this, this fuel rail and at the end of the fuel rail is a pressure regulator. The pressure regulator is operated by this vacuum hose. When there's high vacuum, the pressure uh, regulator opens up, which allows more fuel through it, and it goes through this line back to the tank. When you accelerate and the vacuum goes down, the, the pressure regulator closes up and allows less to return to the tank, and thus it increases the pressure in the fuel rail. I don't know if you can see it, but right here there is a connector for a fuel pressure gauge. So what we're going to do here in a moment is uh, actually hook the fuel pressure gauge up to that, start the car, see what the fuel pressure is when it's running, and then shut the car off and see how long the pressure remains in the line. The idea is that if the pressure drops, when the engine's hot, the, you can get a little bit of vapor lock from the heat of the engine, literally vaporizing the fuel in the fuel line. So uh, the, the idea is that the pressure has to stay high. There's a couple of reasons that the pressure could drop. You could have a bad fuel pressure regulator, you could have a leaky check valve in the fuel pump, or you could even have a leaky fuel injector. Um, one easy test that we've already done is to pull off the vacuum line to the fuel pressure regulator. If gas comes out of that line, there's a problem. That means that the diaphragm in the regulator has been broken and fuel is running out. So, in just a moment, you'll get to see the the pressure gauge hooked up. All right, when the uh, get the, the pressure gauge hooked up to the uh, the uh, test port there, kind of a trick, tight fit. Got it out there. Uh, pressure gauge right here. Inside the pressure gauge is a little valve. Uh, when we start the car, this hose will be full of air. So what we got to do is we got to open this, push this valve and purge the uh, air out into a container, catch the gas will come out. And once all the air is out, we can take our measurements. This the fan's going to start the car up. I'm going to purge the air out. Gas coming out, so air is out, and you can see we have a pressure of a little over 40 psi. I'm gonna rev it up a little. There you go. And then when he accelerates, the pressure goes up as that pressure regulator closes up. All right, shut it down. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch this. Uh, and we're going to see how long it holds that pressure. This is measuring the residual pressure. So the system pressure is supposed to be about 43.5, and it was pretty close, so that's all right. And it should be able to hold some pressure for, I believe, 20 minutes. And after 20 minutes, we need to uh, see if the pressure is within specifications for the residual pressure. Well, it's been over 20 minutes, and as you can see here, the pressure gauge Oh, uh, it says oh, about 34 psi. The specification for the res residual pressure is 14.5, so we're more than twice that. So chances are the residual pres pressure is not his problem. So we've determined that uh, the pres residual pressure is probably not a problem with this car. It's giving the hot start symptom or trouble. I'm going to relieve the pressure on this. When I take it off, I don't need gas everywhere. So by pushing the pressure release, the gauge goes down to zero, and all the extra gas goes into our can there. Now, if he had, uh, if the residual pressure had dropped too much, 
we would suspect a couple of things. The two main suspects uh, would be the fuel pressure regulator itself, which of course is right here. The other suspect would be the check valve and the fuel pump. If the pressure had dropped, the way that we would test to figure out which one of those it is would be to uh, start the car and immediately after he shuts the car off, clamp off the supply line uh, with the clamp. Uh, by doing that, you're taking the check valve on the fuel pump out of the picture, and if the pressure goes down, uh, you know it's not the check valve. Chances are it's the fuel pressure regulator. Possibly a leaking injector, or if your car has a cold start injector, um, that could be leaking and causing the drop as well. But usually it's going to be the fuel pressure regulator or the uh, check valve.